Soto, she was the 13-year-old girl who had her life stolen from her by Stephen Stearns or Stefan Stearns, allegedly. And I say that very quietly because it's pretty fucking clear uh, what happened here, uh, as he was also yeah. uh, raping her uh, from the time she was like nine or something, um, and then taking photos of it and videos of it on his phone, and that's how the police nabbed him initially. And then, of course, the murder charges are there now, and he's facing the death penalty. But here's what always is, is interesting to me. Jailhouse letters, jailhouse phone calls, and the weird shit that people say, thinking that this is somehow a not public forum. Because <laughs> uh, it is. You can request copies of all these things. They end up in court cases, the cases that these people are literally sitting in jail waiting to be tried on and the hole just keeps getting dug sometimes it digs uh, deeper for them sometimes it it starts a nice little uh little shallow grave on the side for other people as well that uh, should also be charged uh, in this case these newly obtained documents in the madeline soto homicide reveal that the family of stefan stearns the murder suspect believes that others were involved in the teen's disappearance and death the 64-page file from the state attorney's office was made available and includes numerous email exchanges between Stearns, currently held at the Osceola County Jail, and his family members. Stefan Stearns faces charges for that first-degree murder, sexual battery, battery, molestation, and possession of child sex abuse material. The jailhouse uh, communications spanning from May 29th to July 1st include messages from Chris Stearns, who appears to be the suspect's brother. The emails discuss various topics, including the family's new puppies, Books Stefan would like delivered to him in jail and his complaints about jail conditions. Well, shouldn't we just get him like a scholastic, like, uh, you know, reader uh, form and he can fill it out and pick a book, you know, this, but, but no toys. We're not getting toys, Stefan. It's for books. No toys. And, you know, depending, um, I mean, it is prime days now. So, <laughs> you know, if you want to get books, get them now. Today is the day to do it. It is. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to get in on that, uh, which if you like ghost stories, uh, I have a book out there and you can find it. It's uh, Real Ghost Stories from Real People, available wherever books are sold or Amazon. It's a bestseller. I just checked it the other day, actually. I was really curious. There's like 500 reviews on it and we're at five stars. Um, it's been out there for quite a while, but it's a good one. Makes a lovely gift. Uh, this mat is uh, flat and very Little cushion left. The cell is small, filthy, and has some spots on the wall that appear to be bloody fingerprints, Stearns wrote. I don't know why I'm talking like he's some sort of English, uh, like, spy or something. <laughs> bloody fingerprints. Uh, yeah, we may have to investigate that. Oh, I don't know why you launched into that. It's funny. I don't know. Notably, some emails from a Chris Stearns account were authored by their mother who expressed her belief that another individual was involved in the case. <laughs> and this is where it gets interesting. The email dated June mm -hmm. 25th, uh, she stated, we all know Redacted was heavily involved in this and I am disgusted that she is free and you are not when this is not all your fault. Not all your fault. But some of your fault. You know, to that, to that end, uh, I, I read another article that it's possible that he's holding on to a bombshell of sorts is what... Uh, Let's see, what was it? This channel, channel two out of Orlando, Florida, saying that he has hope for his situation and that he's hoping he would be coming home, meaning he's holding on to something that could get him a lesser sentence. So is he holding on to something that is going to prove that, yeah, he did something, but he wasn't alone. So he might make a plea deal. Uh, well, let's hope that it, it's not a very favorable plea deal, uh, because there's images of him raping a child, uh, that Correct. have been, so, uh, any plea deal, like maybe, oh, you won't get the electric chair. We're just going to throw you the gators here in Florida over at the farm there. And we're going to have a big party. Everybody gets to watch. We're going to sell tickets. That seems like a little bit less than the electric chair, or maybe he can pick. You want the electric chair? You want the gators? Which one you want? I think it should be. Seems like a very American way these days. So yeah. I, I really don't see anything wrong with it at and, this point. And the That's where we've this is where we are. To. Yeah. And the Gators are going to have American flags spray painted on their backs. So, oh, yeah. 
It's yeah. going to be, uh, it'll be great. And then we'll be, uh, there'll also be a uh, Toby Keith memorial uh, where we're just going to play Toby Keith songs during the actual uh, event itself uh, as they throw him to the Gators because that's that's America. Uh, notably, some emails from Chris Stern's account were authored. Uh, okay, we just read that part. Despite their accusations, Stefan Stearns did not acknowledge his mother's claims in the email replied. Currently, Stefan Stearns is the only person arrested and charged uh, concerning Madeline Soto's disappearance and death. Prosecutors and investigators have emphasized that the case remains open and ongoing. They've hinted at the possibility of uncovering more evidence that could lead to additional charges. Everyone that is close to Madeline is considered suspect until we have proven otherwise. Kissimmee Police Chief Betty Holland stated in March, Homicide Unit Chief Will J echoed the set in a press conference in April saying, this is not over. This is an ongoing investigation to uncover more evidence. Um, here's, you know, where the, the, the comments from the mom uh, saying she, I think we're, I, I'm going to guess we're talking about Jennifer Soto. That's I would think so. my guess. I have no idea. She has not been charged with anything, but she also encouraged uh, him to go sleep with her minor daughter uh, on a fairly regular basis too. So it's uh, how she's not in jail yet. I'm not quite sure, but I'm guessing it's part of that ongoing investigation that will probably lead to a much bigger bombshell. As you mentioned, uh, I don't know. I think it's questionable that the house, the bedrooms had numbers on the doors. <laughs> it seems a little fucking weird. Like, oh, are you uh, are you running a sex trafficking operation here where people can have sex with your kid? Kind of yeah. guessing that might be what we're talking about. That's, I hope not, but I think you're right. I hope not, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I, that's just conjecture. Again, that's just conjecture. Um the uh, state attorney's office announced early June the intention to seek the death penalty against Stearns. In the aforementioned email, Stearns' mother urged him to take the situation seriously, writing, this stuff is serious, and you need to approach it as life and death, which it is. I keep giving different accents to these people. Yeah, you do. I don't know what's going on. And we'll read the whole letter here in a moment. Uh, Stefan Stearns has been charged with first-degree murder of 13-year-old Madeline Soto. He's been in custody since February 28th now. Wow. Time goes fast. We're already like mm -hmm. almost to the end of J July, which is, yeah. Uh, two days after Madeline was first reported missing when she didn't make it to school during the search for Madeline, Stearns voluntarily handed his phone over to law enforcement. Uh, voluntarily. That, the guy's a dumbass. Well, he volu yeah, I, I'm going to say probably hesitantly <laughs> is my guess because there's video of this happening in that like lobby of some building and you could just kind of sense the like, Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> well, and remember, though, this is the guy, right, who said, oh, I reset my phone. And he obviously doesn't understand how phones work, that you can reset the phone all you want. Your information is out there. Well, it's, it's on a server somewhere. Well, and um, look, the shit, just because it you press delete doesn't mean it's off the drive. All you're doing, I don't know how people don't know these things at this point in life, especially adults who have grown up with computers and technology I mean, I, I remember a world previous, but I, for most of my childhood, like 10 on up, there was a computer and I crashed Windows 95 countless amounts of times fucking around with it. And, yep. and, and I learned, though, too, in that messing around that not everything is gone off the drive. There's ways of it. Basically, it just says to you, we can overwrite this shit now if you want us to, but it's still on that drive. And if you need to recover it, there's programs that can recover things that are just not readily available. And it's not hard to do. No. Really, especially with law enforcement. Not that hard to do. Uh, Madeline's body was found in rural Osceola County on March 1st. Uh, earlier in the week, Stearns waived his appearance at a pretrial hearing where the judge approved the defense motion to delay the trials. Another hearing is scheduled for mid-October. Uh, here's the email. This is from um, proud mom of Stefan Stearns, who clearly uh, doesn't seem to get it. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't understand any of this. If you find out your child has been raping, I mean, is an adult? If you find out your adult child has been raping his girlfriend's like nine, 10, 11 year old for all these years. And there's images of it and video mm -hmm. of it. Why the fuck are you writing him? 
why are you having any contact with this piece of shit? And the whole, well, his parents bought, fuck that. I love my He's child more than my anything. son, Tony. Fuck that. I love my child more than anything in the world. If anything like this ever happened, and it was just that clear cut, like, oh, they have images of you. Okay, well, you're dead to me now. I'm sorry. Um, and I think that should be anybody's <laughs> outlook. But that's just me. Here's the actual uh, email uh, itself. This is from mom. Um, should we do music? Should we have some music with this? Yeah, maybe a little lighthearted. You don't see the commissary and cannot order anything? I hope that gets resolved quickly. Do you remember your balance? Jail and prison are not meant to be comfortable. All part of the mental punishment, I guess. Stay positive. Talk with your attorneys. I keep thinking about how you would not ever rat out a friend. It really made mm. me mad and I felt like you value them over us when you let them get away with stuff. Don't be doing that again. We all know, redacted, was heavily involved in this and I am disgusted that she's free and you are not when this is not all your fault. <laughs> that line God. there. Not all your fault. I know you fucked a kid and raped a kid, but it's not all your fault. You need to think about yourself more and her less. She sure isn't thinking of you and how she can help you right now. That whole family is willing to stay quiet and let you take the fall for everything. When you do that, you are hurting us too. Please get out of your head over this and start talking with your attorneys. This stuff is serious and you need to approach this life and death, which it is. I think the craziness redacted lived through with redacted various partners, not a stable life at all for a child. What is, what is that? Like not a stable life for like, you're concerned about that. Meanwhile, your son, you know, your son is raping the kid. I do pray for Redacted and for you daily. I'm thrilled that you're working out again and have a physical outlet for the stress. I hope you get your coffee and candy straightened out quickly. So far, I haven't seen a cancellation on Congo. I don't know what the fuck that means. Let us know as stuff filters down to you through the system. This origami book is just paperback. No paper. Just patterns if I read it right. Well, I'm off to feed the curly ones now. Love, hugs, and prayers now and every day and night. Mom. Uh. Talk about delusional as fuck. Again, you read this and you go, what the fuck? But then you go, oh, this is part of the, this is an ingredient, major ingredient in the recipe that made this fucker too. And I think that's something extremely telling is kind of that the head buried in the sand. Mm -hmm. You know what your son's been accused of. You know what's there, meaning the evidence that's been turned over from his phone, mm -hmm. proof that it was him, proof of what was happening, things that will be brought out in court. So you know that this exists. And yet you're really just talking to him like it's. Like he's away at summer camp. It's like he stole Skittles and, or something and he's in trouble. Yeah. You know, he's at camp and he's having trouble getting, you know, snacks and he's homesick. And, you know, it just feels like another day. <laughs> it's insane. It's fun. Yeah. But again, this is what made that person. This is part of the ingredients when you have to add it all up. It doesn't mean it's going to make sense. You know, if you if you take Tabasco, uh, sugar and rubbing alcohol and then mix it up with some uh velveline and then pour lemonade on top it doesn't make sense that's kind of fucking insane like why would you do that but if you can name the ingredients you go oh this is what this is made out of this is fucking horrible and disgusting but what is mm -hmm. this that's kind of what you have here uh when you, you try to piece people like this together you got to look at the ingredients and that mom is certainly one of them um yeah, I, I don't know their heads buried in the sand. I want to know what the fuck she knows with the comments like we all know Redacted was heavily involved in this. Really? Tell me what you know about what was going on in this house that you know that she was heavily involved in all of this. Yeah. Was it late night calls? Mom, 
mommy, I raped your daughter again today. Oh, son, it's okay. But mom, she said I needed to do it. Oh, it's okay. You get, let's do you, some origami. Let's do some origami. You want some more Skittles? Like, what the fuck do you know, ma'am? I think that's yeah. that's a big question. Um, And I think it's probably a good piece of evidence right here that um, someone's uh, going to be subpoenaed. <laughs> Someone is going to be called into court to answer some of those questions in a deposition or on the stand. And um, yeah, what's weird about these people, though, is their version of normal is nowhere near ours. So what they think they're going to say is just like acceptable and okay. It's not to the rest of the world. And she strikes me as someone who would just kind of sing like a songbird, not even realizing what she's saying out loud to other people. But, but that's my conjecture on it. It's a fucked up case. And uh, we, of course, will continue to follow it right here. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.